Hey, what is up guys, it's Matt here back again, and today I'm doing a review of the Huawei Watch. Now, first off, I wanna mention the presentation is on point with this. Opening this and unboxing it is a real great experience. It is really plush, it really does feel expensive and premium, and you have a really nice box. Overall, it just stands out compared to every other smartwatch out there. It really does look expensive. Now, it's a leather box with a snappy hinge on the back, and it says, Timeless Design, Smart Within. Now, you have these pegs, and if you lift it up, Underneath you get your manual booklets and underneath that you get your plug and your cable uh, to charge it up and stuff like that. You also get a nice cushion with Huawei wrote on it with a logo there. So overall it's really nice to keep your watch in. But it's not the box reviewing, it's the watch. Now, the quality is really great here. Huawei have done a great job. It's a really nice stainless steel body on this one. I have the silver edition, and overall it's stunning. Now, it is a little bit chunky uh, compared to some other smartwatches out there. However, I don't find it much of a problem. Looking on the back, we see that it has a heart rate monitor, just like all the other smartwatches, and you also have some pins to charge it up with, uh, so it's not wireless charging. However, I've had some problems with watches and wireless charging in the past due to overheating and things like that, but I've had no problems with charging on this watch. Now, we can easily unhook the watch strap, which is really, really cool, so we can easily switch it around compared to some other ones in the past where you had to get a little tool and remove the pins and things, but this is really, really easy. You just pull this little lever thing and you can easily remove the strap and switch it around for a different one. So it's really great if you wanna match your outfit or something like that. Overall, the watch band it comes with is nice though. It's really nice leather, really good quality with some nice stitching and the buckle matches the watch really, really nicely. Now this smartwatch is really, really nice looking and from a distance, it really does look like a regular watch, which is nice. Now to charge the watch, you simply place it down on this magnetic pad with some pins on it and it charges. However, if you get it slightly off, sometimes it won't. So make sure you line it upright. But overall, it's really nice to wear and it's comfortable. And honestly, it's not heavy at all. It's really, really lightweight, actually. Even though it's made of metal, uh, it's really nice. And I've never had any problems where it's uncomfortable on my wrist or anything like that. But anyway, let's get into software. So if we swipe down, we can get a do not disturb, sound, cinema mode, brightness boost, and we also get settings. So we get a few options up there, but we can go into settings to adjust the brightness further. You can change the watch face, your font size. You can add gestures to scroll up and down easily. You can also turn on always on screen, which is nice. Uh, you have your sound controls, your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, all your usual stuff in your settings and your airplane mode as well. You also have accessibility in case you have bad eyesight or hearing. You can change your date and time, add a screen lock, all your usual stuff, and you can unpair it with your phone, restart, power off. Uh, you can go into the about, check your software, and you also get developer options. So the main reason you're probably getting this watch is for the notifications on your wrist. Now it's really, really good. You can get Facebook Messenger, YouTube, Hangouts, all your apps will integrate with this watch. And most of them, you'll be able to read back your conversation history as well as reply and things like that. You can also send one of the thumbs up on Facebook and it's really, really good if your hands are full or your phone's not around or something like that. I just find it really handy when I'm out and about. It's really easy and I don't have to take my phone out. Now you can also read stuff like comments, which is quite often what I do, and you can dismiss them by swiping them to the right. But overall, it's a really great watch, and I like the interface. It's really standard like any other Android Wear. You get your Google Now as well, where you can ask it stuff like how tall is the Empire State Building, show me a picture of Matt Rob Tech, things like that. But you also get gestures in this watch, which is cool, and you can actually scroll up and down by flicking your wrist, and you can easily select things by actually pushing away from you. So if you push your arm towards the floor, it will select, and you can open on your phone or reply if it supports it. But another great feature is you can actually control your music. So you can play, pause, you can turn your volume up and down, as well as actually go into the music player itself. So I can go into Spotify in my library, my playlist, and I can select whichever playlist I want and play a bunch of different songs without taking out my phone, which is really handy. Now, it's really, really great how it does this. You can also connect third-party Bluetooth speakers to your watch, and you can use the Google Music app to actually stream straight from the watch to the speaker without your phone. So you can actually store music offline on the watch as well. This also has a speaker in it as well, so keep that in mind, which is really good for like alarms as well as ringtones if you're getting a call and stuff like that. Now, the main reason you'll want this watch is because it looks really cool and you can change your watch face, and overall, it attracts people's attention. It's really, really nice to look at. You can change your watch face to loads of different ones. Huawei have put a bunch of different choices in here for you, uh, so digital and analog, and they have some really cool designs as well, um, which I like. 
However, if you don't, you can download more from the Play Store or you can make your own in an app or you can just download it off the internet and put it on, things like that. There's a bunch of different ways to get different watch faces on just to match your style. Again, it is quite thick. Uh, however, the battery life is really good on this watch. So that is one thing that I must say, it's really, really good. I've lasted two days and had 20% left on this watch and it's always on. So I always have it on. Uh, it's got an AMOLED screen, so it definitely doesn't use much power compared to the LCD screens like on the Moto 360. Now, yes, this watch is quite expensive. However, it does have sapphire glass and an AMOLED screen, a really large battery, and overall, it's super snappy. So it's definitely worth paying for in my opinion. And overall, I really love it and is much better than my Moto 360 first generation as well as my past Samsung Gear Live. Anyway guys, that is it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.